you know, in reality, I may be tracking a bad guy. I may not be two targets. I may be needing to track a bad guy and I'm moving vehicle to vehicle. It may be I'm moving, you know, stanchion to stanchion in a place that has like pillars or something. Okay. It could be a thousand planters out downtown with flowers growing out of them. It could be a bazillion different things out there in reality. But I want to be able to land and get a shooting position. I also want to track my bad guy. And uh, my traverse may not be because of multiple targets. It could just be one person moving around. It could also be a close range fight just around a vehicle where I have to take precision shots at a close range to a moving target and I'm moving at the same time. In order to get rid of that artificiality, if that's a word, um, to of turning left and right and not really setting up properly, we'll just have these two cones, or in this case, barrels. And I'll start at one. I'm gonna present my gun to the target, press my shot, boom, dismount my gun, get here, land in a good shooting position, boom. My target, drive my gun, dismount the gun. And then so on and so forth, all right? So we're moving. <laughs> You're wasting the opportunity. We're going to load the gun for a second. Load Go ahead, it. Safe and let it hang. Okay. So when you're moving every time, you're hitting your target. Bang, bang. And then you're going high ready and you're looking at your next piece of cover and you're looking down here at the ground. Okay. So you're missing everything that's happening out there. You're not getting any information there at all. That's why we, that's one of the, the benefits of the high ready is I can work on my gun. I can reload. I can do things, whatever. And I can still see down range or see what's happening out there. So if I hit my target here, Bang, boom, transition hits this guy. I identify my cover, right? See, that's where I'm gonna go to, but then I'm down here again, land in my good shooting position. That's gonna be faster mounting the gun if my eyes are here. Not that I've got here, okay, I'm in a good spot. Then I look up, you're gonna be slower on everything after that. But if I already have my eyes where I need my bullet to strike, I'm gonna be faster mounting the gun and presenting the gun to the target. There you go. How'd that feel, the difference? Oh yeah, good, but definitely faster, for sure. Let's debrief that real quick. So what do you think about the, the knees thing? What'd that do for you? Uh, what did it do for you? The other things that maybe we talked about there, and then also, you know, the eyes down range and mounting the gun and all that stuff. I think the knees thing I need a little bit more practice with um, because I wasn't thinking about it as well as I should on the transition. I was incorporating more hips so maybe I was doing it without I see it as a combination. Like it's not just knees, it's not just waist or hips. Like it's, it's when you want to use it, it's, it's an additional, it takes very little movement to cover a lot of turn. And I've seen that used as far as like uh, pie in a door yeah. where you can pivot around on your knee, but I, I haven't done that physically. So, um, so yeah, that <clears throat> definitely made a difference as far as like making sure I was still in a a strong position where I felt balanced and could still get what I needed done. What was the other question? Oh, about the uh, the, the focus down range instead of on oh, the yeah. barrels, like just wrapping up the endpoints. Well, that's something getting in my own head of like focusing too much on the the drill itself rather than the practical reason for the, the drill. reality of it, yeah. And and if there were guys with guns pointed at me, I'm probably not gonna be looking at the dirt as much, but. Hope is not a tactic, so uh, you gotta Don't train. Don't practice doing it the wrong way. You gotta train doing it the correct way. Awesome, good work.